Maximals, Max with Primal here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Alright, well, look, anyway, let's have a look and see what we got here. So we got one, two. Three things there. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. Be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry him. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate... Gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with Yeah, they're trying. They I like that. It's funny. <laughs> of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Uh, but yeah, when I get to Red Dead Redemption 2, or well, essentially a prequel, like I said, it would have made sense to play that first, but obviously it's like. Corn remaining, what? Damn it! Sorry, but you're fine! Take the piss because literally we needed feathers and yeah here we go. Imagine if there's loads of flying beavers and that would just be fucking ridiculous. How do I protect the corn? <laughs> What am I meant to do? I'm trying to... I can't climb up.
Okay, that was a lot better than I thought it would be, but still. Ah. Okay. By sweet and toil. By sweat and toil. Okay. Get up, old man. I I am up. Get up. Oh. Oh. There I'm up. I thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. Do this together. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so essentially I'm assuming this whole thing will just be, you know, us just riding and all that. Oh, this is going to be fun. No. Oh, oh, very clever. I'll give him that. I'll give that cow that. That was clever. Like a few, look like most of them literally just jumps over the fence, which I'll give them that. I mean, one way to make progress. Come on! Ready now, you dumb cow! No, go back to where you were, you fool. Go on. There you go, that's right, go back to the cows, there you go. Oh, it's gonna be like ran ranching simulator. But you know, whatever, like I so said, we've done a lot of bullshit, so it's just nice go. to try and get the casual stuff done, story wise. I mean, ah, uh, what's gonna happen here then? Come on. I wonder, like, is this, I wonder if it's going to be repeat, if it's repeatable stuff, then obviously I'll say that we're done. And then we can move on to, um, like a finale or whatever, which would be nice to do. Be good. Not the finale, but obviously the main story Whoa. one. Whoa. Come on, stop the herd! Yeah! Back here, you little shit. That's right. 
There we go. Okay, let's see. Well, it's a good thing I noticed that crap. Oh, it looks like. Well, good news is we didn't get far. I'm trying to round up stragglers, so that's good. Blow it up now. I think sadly we lost two of the cows when they died. But I did what I could. You know, there's not much you can do. But it happened before. Far we are from where we are, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. But no, I was annoying. Like I said, I had to stop because um the dog was barking. That's the one thing I hate about him. Like I said, he, it, the door knocks, it doesn't hurt. answer. He starts barking. Right he seems. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. Get up. Now what's next? One, two, three. Let's head back to him and see what happens. Come on. If it's repeatable crap, then obviously I'm not gonna. I'll just stop. You know what I mean? There's no point in doing repeatable stuff. Like I said, I mean that's not the story. I mean, like I said, I mean, you know, we'll go and see how far we get. But obviously, other than that. See what this mission is. A continual feast. Okay. What are you looking at, old man? There's some mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? <laughs> Sounds like there's gonna be problems with the ranch by the look of it, so that's not good, but. Story wise, you know, see what happens. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened? What were you, you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. 
That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Damn it, I was trying to... Okay, let's see if we can capture him. Come on, where is it? They're gonna run, here we go. I'm just not used to doing this. Let's go. It's just annoying because they could run super more faster than this horse. That's what's so frustrating. Am I capturing? Am I capturing them all? Is that what's going to be? Just literally brand simulator, brand simulator, whatever. You know what I mean? Whoa there! Almost got you. So another wild horse. This is gonna be. There we go. All right, third time. Hopefully, it's the last one. Gonna be one of those. It's one of those ones. It's one of those bullshit ones. Like, hey, listen to me. It's like, just shut up. I agree with Marcia. Like, it's just annoying. I don't need to get on one. I'm trying what we're doing. Just 
try you then. Come on. Oh, come on. Just let me get this one. Please. There we fucking go, please tell me that's Good. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an old man. Don't make me chase you. I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was... Yeah! Whoa, whoa! Look at these here horses. Fine as green gravy. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Mister? over here That's so annoying come up well wait what you have killed a friend what what Right, I guess we're going to sleep and say, but what the hell was all that about? Like, Jesus. Oh, come on. Try that bloody again. Old friends, new problems. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. Oh shit, you can't read. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. 
And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. John! Wait! Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marshall. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous, so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life, anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but Dutch went crazy. Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live. But it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where'd they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. Fair enough. Okay. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable old goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a <laughs> Ain't he, Mr. Farley? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. It's true. <laughs> Don't start to pull a knock out, old boy. 
<laughs> uh. Okay, so I guess we've got like another couple of quests probably and then there'll be something at the end, I, I don't know. It's sad. Hmm. You know, hey, I was trying to reverse and it would not let me. <laughs> it was like, keep the wagon moving. And I was like, well, you know what, fuck it then. Let's go into the water then. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You've clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. Mm. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a worker. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life crowd for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change. But we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. Better than going back to what we were. That's true. How's Jack doing? Angry, sick. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were his family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. True. Well, we don't know what happened in the... We did good today, John. But we don't know... 
I like I said, we don't know what happened in number two, which we're gonna have to see, but. Okay, let's see what's here. Alright, so now we got stuff for Jack to do. So this is gonna be. What do you mean, come back later? Like, where is he? Right, so I'm going to have to go back in, sleep, and then probably... That's how it's going to work, isn't it? He's right here! He's right there! I'm not liking this fight, what I'll do is if I have to I'll cut and look it up on you just to make sure like if it's one of those ones where it's time gated, then I'm going to need to know when to start. Because otherwise I'll just be sat there, won't I? He's not going to be there. Well, honestly, I will look up after it. I'm not having it where I'm just sat there. There we go. There we go. John Martin and Son, there we go. Thank God. That was annoying. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. What? Well, I'd... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. <laughs> Come on! Come on, let's go! Come on! When you find something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir! Let's go! 
You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patient. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. Go. Slow it up now. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Look, he's picked up a scent. Come on. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Come on. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. And she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you and Ma wanted me to read. Jack, there's one up ahead. Whoa there. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. That was overkill. Let's go. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. You just gotta wait for the right shot. Not rush it. Or just do I then just That's shoot the one. fuck out of it? Fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. What are you doing? Let's keep moving. You can do it, Rufus. Rufus. I like you Rufus. Okay, I like Jack? Rufus by default. I wonder what he was. I thought he was just a wild dog, but. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know. I saw how you did it. Rufus, that's it. Good boy. Look, they're over there. That's it, son. Yeah. Steady now. There you go. Don't rush it. Saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Hey, come on! Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Hey, watch it! This is dirty.
Yeah, so far our life's been this past been pretty chill for the long for the most part anyway, with us just you know. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Howdy. Hello, sir. How are you, mister? Well, let's see what you got. He's in the market. Hey, cowboy. Howdy. And here we are. Enjoy the journey. That John Marshall must be rich. Options yeah. to suit any pocket. I met John Marshall. Marston, good to see you. The selection bothers and confuses Thanks. me. That's they good. always do. Okay, I see. Why, well, as Hello. long as you like. Hello. Those are mine sisters. Always happy to see a customer. Hey, mister. Well, let's see what we can do for you. We have an array of options for you. What do you have? I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Pretty That's soon they'll be introducing more right comfortable now. trading seating to entice the wealthy. See you again, I hope. All done. Let's head home. Sounds good. What's this? Let's go. go. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day. Then you'll see. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. Whoa. You enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk, growing up. Proud of it. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. <laughs> yeah, and I was right. There's another mission, so let's see what it is. Because this could be the end, so I want to make sure we're done. Wolves and what? Wolves, dust, and whatever. I didn't really see. I couldn't really see. But, yeah, enough. But... I'm not. You are. Your back's tense, and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. Better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Gotta get out there and scare them off. You wanna come with me? 
Safe with two. Okay. I can't blame the convenient frustration, especially when we don't know what happens in the prequel right, game. Let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Come on. They're gonna kill Rufus. I just got this horrible thing. We're gonna lose Rufus. <laughs> Look out! I can shoot. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I, I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I work. Come on, Paul. Come on. Paul. Where are they, Rufus? Go find them, Rufus. Found a scent. Stay with me. Let's go. Where are the wolves? Uh -oh. Come on. What are you doing? Where are them wolves, boy? You're gonna land us both in the dirt. Go get them, boy. After him, boy. This could be a long track. Good Literally, boy. it's just been us doing chores. Let's go. There they are. Good boy, Rufus. Now the fun part begins. something you don't like. Come on, Rufus. They appear. Some good. 
done shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, uh, please, Paul. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. I reckon I could kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, yes, sir, I hear you. Come! Let's go, Paul. Can I ask you something? Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Baby! But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. close at least. I don't know how much longer we got. I mean I wanna I would like to cut but at the same time I don't know how long we got till we ended the main story and then I'd rather start a fresh part on the DLC. That's what I'd like to do. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. And what's hap what's gonna happen next then? It's another mission, what? Right, let's go to sleep, save. You know what then? I'm going to risk it and say we're going to wrap up now then. Next part we'll, you know, finish this off. And I mean, look, worst case, I'll just cut and then start the story. Well, not sorry, the DLC, if it takes too long. So anyway, I'll see you all then. Take care. See ya.